Hello everybody and welcome back to Firewatch. My name is Twisted and there's a recent burn here. I found where Hello. they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. But there's a control burn. Interesting. I bet, I bet it goes all the way to the medicine wheel. Yeah. Alright. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. What's this? What is this? What the hell? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but... Given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Interesting. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or... You know, anywhere. Okay, lovely. What is that thing over there? What is that thing? Oh, that's the sign, right? Yeah. So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine and you shouldn't be able to miss it. All right, let's actually go to the camp and explore other things for later after that. I see something. Camp Arapahoe. Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the fifties. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay, of course. Camp Arapaho, interesting. I have to keep that in mind. Can I jump down here? I can. Can't totally jump down here. Let's actually see what's in this area first. Is that a way up? I think that's a way up. Maybe. It would that be? Um, I think it goes all the way. Up. Maybe there's like two ways to approach approach the thing. Maybe. I don't know though. Maybe this is where we get back. I, I actually quite like that. I think that tree is something we can chop down later on. It's fairly obvious. We're gonna go up here. Yeah, a bit. We're gonna chop down that tree and come over here. Cause that's yeah, that seems perfect for chopping. Easy, obvious. I'm the man. So we were supposed to jump over here, right? Yeah. I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. That's a nice totem pole. Alright, where do I go now? There's something, there's like a truck over there, but I want to explore here first. I need a bridge. Hello, bridge. I'm fairly close to it. Anything in here? 
doesn't appear to be anything of value, anything of interest. Good to know. Oh, that's something. Did I just see something? This is not. Right. Let's go to the camp. Camp Arapaho. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Hmm, Unless it's supply job. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, Planar Dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Why is this here? I mean, I've seen this one before, but why is it here? Why is it like in the old shelter? It looks kind of burned down. Don't know. What's this? Is that a book? That's a book. I wanna, I wanna, oh, 10 to 1, right? How do I. Yes, 10 to 1, yes. No. Richard, Richard Sturgeon, again. The group of finale to crime by numbers. 10 names all sure to be dead in 48 hours. When a full page ad is taken out of the out in the South City Chronicle with the names of ten citizens, none connected and three already dead cleared. Oh my god. Sturgeon! Let's put it that over here. Oh, bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Why is that here? I'm guessing because like there may be bears, but why? Come on, poor bears. Okay, this is some. Oh, there's the axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. See? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Rich Slusarenko. That could mean listen. Slushati. Would be listen. Slusarenko. That's that's close enough, right? Listen. They are listening. Interesting. Interesting. Let's take the axe. Keep the note with us. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Nice. Just put it in your butt. <laughs> the same place you would keep your roast in your camera. Alright. 
Now we can chop this thing. Yeah, it's kind of a tutorial for us. Awesome. We clear the trail. We get at the right distance, I guess. Just chop it down, man. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And then we can chop this bad boy down. Awesome. I'm sure you're killing it at the wrong or the right side, because that seems like it's gonna fall towards you. Maybe not. I don't know anything about tree physics. Up over. Awesome. Good job, me. Okay, now what? Not now. Return to Wapiti Meadow. Okay, that should be simple enough. We're now across the tree. And there is another tree somewhere around here, it seems. Because there, there's two of them on the map. Where is the other one? Where is the other tree? This thing? Why is this thing over here? What's the point? Okay, let's actually chop that thing down, too. I don't want to, like, chop them all down. Take a look. Where was it? We're around here, right? Yeah, there we go. <coughs> awesome. Don't fall down. Good job, me. Good, good hey job. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you what just the hell? Cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? Holy shit, what? I will call you. What? What? What the hell? This is so creepy. Oh, I'm, I'm so creeped out. I'm so creeped out right now. Holy shit, I'm so creeped out. I'm so creeped out, really. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, My ring is on the, on, the, on the table. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay... By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's what? up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Okay. Yeah. Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. 
Head to left, a place sorry. named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. I see. Okay, Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay, by the way, I just realized there's like a Sturgeon's book in here. Where is it? Like, number eight. That There's number two. There's number eight. We saw number one. Why is this here? Why are these why are these things here? Let's take a ring. And put on. Yeah. Let's actually just read this. July 16, what the fuck difference are they makes? Holy hell, I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm gonna write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie-talkie and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Lila and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out there listening to us and tag me. We're taking notes about our conversations, we think there might be some sort of study going on. Like maybe we're giving these jobs not just to look for fire, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I don't know, I know this all sounds insane. It is insane, I don't know how to explain any of it. Delala definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies too. It wasn't just me. It, I'm rambling here, she heard someone too. I tried calling her a couple of times tonight, but we don't know, want to talk, we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what's going on, what's... What are we, oh, oh, what are we going to do? This is so... I'm, I'm so creeped out right now. I really, really, really am so freaking creeped out. Anything new in my drawer here? Just the... Old pen and piece of paper. Usually enough, the pen is a physical object which moves around. That's good to know. So we need to go to... This tree. Cottonwood. And where is that? Okay, I see. Cottonwood Creek. We need to go there. That should be fairly simple to reach. Alright, so we have to just go down here and get over there. That should be fairly, fairly easy. Oh, we have uh, our marks on the side. That's good to know. So we can now use our axe to chop down some more things, which is just lovely. But yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. That's a great, great deal. More than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Games. Now we'll see you next time.